Then I would make sure it's patent, so I just discontinue the IV uh, infusion, so it's patent, and then measure the insertion site. So this is about, let's say, three, four centimeters, and then I would make sure with the PIC line nurse documentation that it's uh, on the same page. So I would explain to the patient what I'm going to do, and then go ahead and gather my supplies. I need a PIC line kit normal saline, um, positive pressure slave for each pick line, the bio valve, uh, two of these little chloroprep for each line, and then a stat lock. So I would go ahead and wash my hands, bring the supplies in, uh, provide privacy, and then I would put on, open this, raise the bed up to my height, take the side real down. I identify the patient again, wear the mask, and then put on one pair of chair gloves. Did you tell me? Can I get another one? What? That didn't happen. I put on my chair gloves. So with my sterile gloves, I would go ahead and put the pressure here while taking out the edges of the tape. Once I take out the edges, as I'm going to the center, I would pull it towards the impression site slowly and then just part of it. And then I would uh, take out the stat lock and then discard of it. I would go like this. We can do that. And then now I would go ahead and set up my. I would discard the gloves. Yeah. And then. Set up my body and then prime it. I would open up my sterile film with one inch margin. Throw all my supplies in. And now I would gather my sterile gloves again. Is there anything I did wrong? Again, pretend these are sterile. Okay. So after I've done sterile gloves, I would go ahead and take out the dressing or the drapes. Make sure the shiny, shot, shiny side is down, right? Then I would. Huh? Can I do it at the same time? Yeah, I think yeah. so, right? You can, right? Yeah. If you're doing the procedure, you, you see something in your own body. So grab it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and it, yeah, grab this. Mm -hmm. and go ahead and clean the area.
for 60 seconds. Then I would go ahead and dab the area. Make sure I don't pull away from the insertion site. And then clean the hub. Just whatever I need to clean. And then after, I would go ahead and set it here. Just part of this. Then I would put on the bio valve with the blue side up. Like that. Is that right? <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And then put on the stat lock. Can I move this? Yeah. Make sure I take off the adhesive. And then I would go ahead and put on the dressing. Make sure that the middle is near the insertion site. So right here. And then after that, I would go ahead and get the little core press. Clean the junction area. Right here. And then this part of this. And then I would go ahead and get a second core press. Make sure I have this near me. This contaminated area. What's that? This is contaminated area. Where? But this is. After this, isn't sterile technique on? No, you still have to have a good sterile part right there. When you, gonna, when you grab this part, you have to be sterile, you know? Which part? Because yeah. aren't I opening it? Come back to my finger. Yeah. 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 Okay. What? Yeah. I would just. Uh, Hold it. Hold it, right? Did you wipe it, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to wipe it right now. Okay. 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 Do that. And then flush 10 ml. And then after that, I'm done. I would go ahead and um, throw away all my supplies, uh, remeasure the pick line, and then uh, side rail up. Uh, bed rail, bed in lowest position, document how the patient tolerated it, what I did, maintain still technique, and date time initial.